China may have just changed the game in naval aviation. For the first time, reports indicate the Chinese J-35B stealth fighter has launched from the deck of the aircraft carrier Fujin, not by a ski ramp, but through the power of electromagnetic catapult technology. In this video, we're diving into how this launch happened, what the J-35B really is, and why the Fujin could mark the start of a new global military paradigm. Let's break it down. The J-35BS reported successful launch using an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, IMALS, represents a breakthrough for China's aviation ambitions at sea. For years, China's aircraft carrier-based air power had been hampered by its reliance on the Xinyang J-15, a reverse-engineered version of the Russian Su-33, taking off from ski jump ramps. The J-15, while upgraded over time, was never designed for catapult launches, limiting fuel and weapon loads. The J-35B, however, is different. It was built from the ground up to fly from a catapult-equipped carrier, making it the People's Liberation Army Navy's plan. First real step into modern carrier-based stealth aviation. This stealth fighter is a twin-engine, radar-evading jet intended to rival the U.S. Navy's F-35C. According to multiple reports that surfaced in April 2025, the J-35BS Imol's launch occurred aboard the Fujin in late March. The source was an image and brief video clip shared on Chinese military enthusiast accounts on Weibo and reposted on X, formerly Twitter, showing what appears to be the J-35B launching from a flat deck carrier. Fujin's unmistakable silhouette in the background. The timing of this test isn't accidental. The jet had been showcased at Airshow China in Zhuhai in 2024 and later appeared in model form at the IDX 2025 Arms Expo in the UAE. These public displays were deliberate signals. China was ready to enter the elite group of nations operating stealth fighters from carriers. What makes the J-35B even more controversial is its resemblance to the F-35, leading to speculation about espionage. A convicted Chinese agent, Su Bin, was found guilty in 2016 of stealing sensitive U.S. military data, including details about the F-35. Chinese aerospace officials haven't denied the similarities at IDX. A CADIC representative casually remarked that the J-35 was similar to the F-35 with no further elaboration. Ultimately, the J-35BS success marks a turning point. It signals that China has closed a significant technological gap in building a stealth fighter specifically for carrier operations. At the center of this transformation stands Fujin, CV-18, the largest and most technologically advanced aircraft carrier China has ever built. Displacing between 80,000 and 85,000 tons, it's the first planned carrier to fully embrace a flat deck, catapult launch configuration, abandoning the ski jump style used on Liaoning and Shandong. In both symbolism and substance, Fujin represents China's intention to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the U.S. Navy's Ford-class carriers. The key innovation aboard the Fujin is the integration of IMALS, or Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. Unlike steam catapults, IMALS uses magnetic fields to accelerate aircraft off the deck. This results in smoother launches, less wear and tear on airframes, and a wider range of aircraft that can be deployed, everything from lightweight drones to heavy early warning planes. IMALS also provides a glimpse into how China intends to wage future naval warfare. A carrier equipped with this system can sustain high sortie rates, launching and recovering aircraft faster and more efficiently. That has direct implications in combat scenarios, especially in the contested waters of the Taiwan Strait or South China Sea, where quick response and aerial dominance are critical. In parallel, the Fujin will likely feel the carrier air wing consisting not just of J-35BS, but also new platforms like the KJ-600, a carrier-based airborne early warning and control aircraft similar in mission to the American E-2D Hawkeye. There are also rumors of stealth UAVs like the GJ-11 Sharp, sword being adapted for carrier use. From a strategic standpoint, this changes the way the world must view the plan. This is no longer a regional Greenwater Navy. With the Fujin, China gains the ability to field a true Blue Water Carrier Strike Group, capable of sustained operations far from the mainland. What the Imol's launch J-35B really reveals is a level of confidence. Not only does China believe it can engineer a stealth jet from scratch, but it can integrate that platform onto a state o art carrier.
While the technical success of the J-35BS catapult launch is impressive, its strategic and geopolitical implications are even more profound. This is not just a Chinese fighter jet taking off, it's a message to the world that China is ready to project military power globally and disrupt the long-standing U.S. dominance in naval aviation. The Fujin J-35B combination is critical to China's evolving maritime doctrine, particularly within the broader framework of anti-access area denial A2-AD strategy. In a potential conflict over Taiwan or in disputed areas like the South China Sea, the ability to launch stealth fighters from carriers provides flexibility and resilience. Land bases may be targeted or neutralized early in a conflict, but a mobile, sea-based platform like the Fujin gives China a second line of air power. Moreover, this development has significant ramifications for global arms markets. The J-35B, especially if it enters mass production, could become a lower-cost alternative to the US F-35, appealing to countries that are politically distanced from the West or face export restrictions. By offering a good enough stealth fighter, China could expand its defense partnerships across the Middle East, Africa, and parts of Southeast Asia. Critically, China's advancement creates a perception of parity. Even if the J-35B isn't yet on par with the F-35C in performance, the fact that it can launch from a modern catapult system and operate from a true flat-top carrier narrows the qualitative edge previously held by the U.S. There are still unanswered questions, such as the long-term reliability of China's domestic jet engines, the readiness of their carrier-trained pilots, and whether the PLA can maintain these systems under real combat stress. But these are second-order concerns. The message has been sent. China has entered the big leagues of naval aviation. The timing is also notable. The U.S. and allies have been increasingly vocal about defending the Indo-Pacific from coercive behavior. China's demonstration of power, right before several major regional security summits, wasn't coincidental, it was calculated. For observers and strategists, the key takeaway isn't just that the J-35B can fly from a carrier. It's that China now possesses the entire carrier ecosystem, a powerful flat-deck platform, a modern launch system, and a stealth fighter designed for the deck. The J-35B's catapult launch from the Fujin isn't just another military test, it's a declaration. China now controls the core elements of next-gen carrier warfare, stealth, launch tech, and deep-sea mobility. This leap forward reshapes the naval balance and signals that future maritime conflicts will no longer be one-sided. Whether the jet performs flawlessly under combat conditions or not, the message is already loud and clear. China has arrived at the forefront of naval aviation. The question is how the world, especially the US and its allies, chooses to respond to this new and rapidly rising reality. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.